Welcome in, D6 colleagues. This is biz teacher Jeremy Sinks, and this is part two of our digital Synergy Dropbox tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how students access the digital Dropbox, how they access your assignments, and how they upload assignments to the digital Dropbox. And there's my Tweety Bird. So I'm going to click on Tweety Bird, and Tweety Bird has a student view option. So you click student view. And this is what you're seeing, what a student sees and how a student will access um, the gradebook in your resources in the Dropbox. On the left hand side, they're going to go to gradebook. And when they click on gradebook, they're going to see the different classes that they have. And so to submit their class, they're going to go to my video game design class. And you're going to see a list of assignments that um, I've deployed or that are in Synergy. So they need to do the survey. So down here, and, and the bummer thing is, is that um, the way Synergy displays this, they, it displays it obviously from the new estates on top. So for so for like a you know kind of an LMS like content delivery type system, um, students will have to do this in reverse. I think they can um, they cannot filter this, so it goes from the newest or the oldest to the top. So sequentially. Um, we'll have to tell students that they need to go from the bottom to the top. Uh, that way, um, that way they're not doing like things that are like, you know, out of order or doing things that they won't have, you know, know how to do and, you know, like that kind of thing. When they need to access an assignment and turn it in, um, they click on, uh, these are active links. And so they'll just click on the name, intro to survey. And obviously, you'll have the different categories over here. On the right-hand side, you'll notice that there is a Dropbox open and close date right there. Um, I'm going to click on Intro to Survey. So down here below, what you're going to see are two sections. You're going to have the Resources section, and then you're going to have the Digital Dropbox section. Underneath the Resources here, this is where students can click and download um, or view resources that you've uploaded and then below, I'll talk about how they upload um, their assignments in the Dropbox. So for the survey, they might they will click this, and it's going to bring it out to um, my other browser. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize that real quick, and then bring up, and uh, it's going to bring it up over here as as a doc. And students um, should, I would say, download this and save it in a folder. And I'm using Google Chrome, by the way. So if they use uh, Internet Edge or Explorer or um, you know Firefox or Safari, um, it'll download differently for them. I mean, you might have to you might have to specify which browser you're using uh, when they do this. When you when you if you need to give them instructions for that, um, but it's a simple click and drag in Google Chrome to the folder that they uh, want to go that they want it to go to. And I recommend that they do that. They click and drag it out and then save it in a folder somewhere, so that way they can click and open it and access it. Of course, they'll probably want to resave the name because this is the name that Synergy, the platform gives it uh, when you upload it to, um, to their system. So that would be something that I'd have them do right away. Now I'm going to go back to the student view here. And so down here, say they've, they've took the survey and they're ready to finish it and now they need to upload it. So down here and down here in the bottom, there's a upload your file from um, option and the default option is my computer and there's a reason a good reason for that when you click on this you're going to notice that there's two other options OneDrive and Google Drive I have not tried the OneDrive option so I don't I can't vouch for how well it works I have had students try the Google Drive option and it, it doesn't work most of the time um, for whatever reason so this can be a little bit complicated if you tend to use uh, Google Documents exclusively, and that's all students have access to. So what you might do is if students are using Google Drive on their home computer, have them export their document as a PDF or as a Word document and save that to a file on their, on their local disk, on their computer, and then upload that from my computer. Um, I can cover that in a, another tutorial for students, um, you know, for how, for how they might do that. Um, but as of now, like the safest bet is going to be um, from my computer. 
And so when you just select that and then you just click open. And what it does is it brings a, a browse for the file that you want them to upload. And I'm just going to go ahead and choose that document that I downloaded earlier, that one with all the nines and the zeros in it. And then click open. And they can also remove m remove that document if they um, also want to. So down here, you'll see the upload date, the timestamp, and the date that they uploaded this to. Um, so that's kind of nice. So if you have a very specific due date and a time, um, that gets put in there when they upload their assignment. I'm going to do one more upload, and I'm going to go back to this design a logo thing. And I'm only going to do this to show you what this might look like when you try to grade it. So I'm going to scroll down and select open. This image that I'm going to upload is a PNG. This will work. JPEGs are safe uh, safe files to upload. PDFs are safe files to upload. We have um, haven't really experienced many problems with Word documents or Excel documents. Um, I really have not tried Publisher, so I couldn't tell you if you use Publisher or not. So I'm just going to go ahead and click open there. And I'm going to move on so I can show you what this might look like uh, when we try to grade it. So that's going to wrap up our part two tutorial of how students access the digital Dropbox gradebook in Synergy. In the next tutorial, I'm going to cover how teachers look at students' work and provide feedback in the Synergy Dropbox.